In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do this face motion tracking stabilization effect. So the first thing you're going to want to do with your clip is head over to the tracker on the right hand side. If you don't see this, you can go to Window, open the Tracker panel, and in this panel, we want to click Stabilize Motion. This is going to open up a track point for us to place onto our clip. So in the case of doing face stabilization, I'm going to, we have two points. We have this inner box and this outer box. I'm going to move the points so that the face is in the inner box and then we have some room for error in the outer box because her hands are going to be swinging around, her hair is going to be covering her face sometimes. Um, it might go out of frame. Do keep in mind that the larger you make these boxes, the longer this is going to take to process the effect. So you don't you do want to have some sort of precision if you can afford it. Now, once you have your bounding box basically in place, I'm going to go to the very first frame of my clip and put the box in place and then press play onto this analyze button in the tracker window. This is going to go frame by frame and it's going to analyze the motion, keeping track of like a data point for some keyframes on the X and Y position. You do want to watch while this is happening to make sure at any point that the track point does not get thrown off of what we originally wanted it. If that does happen, you see in this moment, um, her hand is kind of covering her face. There might be a chance that After Effects messes up. That's why I made it pretty big, even though it's going to go a little slower. You can always press the pause button in the tracker menu. It'll stop the tracker. You see all the points that have happened so far. And you do have the option to slightly adjust the bounding box and then press play to analyze it again. And you also have the option to click on any of these points if they did go way out of whack and put them more in line with a path that you feel is more appropriate. Now, once After Effects reaches the last frame, you'll see all of these little data points that it's created for the position. You can drop down the layer and in the motion tracker section, you can see each one of these tracker points and you can also adjust those tracker points if for some reason something was off. Um, you can go through, like in my case right here, there was one frame where she crossed her arms over her face and this one frame kind of, these two couple frames kind of fall out of place. I can simply select this one keyframe and I can move the X and Y or the, the track point back to where I think it should have been. And I can do that for whatever other ones too. I can also just delete certain frames if they didn't fit in how I wanted. So you can make these minor adjustments like I was saying. But once you do have all these points generally how you want them, then if you just press apply, it'll apply all of these points to the actual X and Y position of the clip. And now we have a clip that is stabilized around her facial movement. Now, of course, this is going to create some black bars and we can fix that by cropping. So we're simply going to drop down the clip again. This time go to the transform section and we can increase the scale so that no matter what portion of the clip we're on, we always have some extra information. And we can also adjust the position, the X and Y point, so that we never get those black bars. So if I just change the view a little bit to like 50%, I can play the whole clip over and just make sure there's no points where I ever get to the edge of the clip like that. If there is, I might just have to scale up a little bit more or maybe play with the position a little bit. Keeping in mind, I want her face centered there and her feet visible. I don't want to cut off her feet because this is a dancing video. So if I scale it up enough, I basically crop in and eliminate any of those black bars. And now we have this motion tracked, cool looking clip that will look great for an Instagram post or a TikTok video or something like that, as opposed to the original clip where it also looks cool, but doesn't catch your eye in that way because this one is tracking the facial motion. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, you can check out another tutorial I did with the same process um, in 
the example of a soccer ball or a football. So you can check that out in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my future videos. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.